What's going on guys, it's Nick from Lively Outdoors. I am out here at Thor Global Defense Group again. I haven't been out here much shooting here lately. It's been about probably six months since I've actually shot quite a bit. Uh, I came out here weekend before last and did the shoot for the free uh, TFO rod. And uh, now I'm just coming out here just to plink around a little bit. And uh, I've got a side in this red dot that's on my Glock 20 Gen 5. My camera will not be wonky. And uh, it's a little hollow sun. Uh, I think they call it a SCS or whatever. It's pretty slick. Uh, I've just got it on the dot right now. I don't know if that's, no, that's probably not gonna pick up. And then the Gen 5 29. So I'm gonna be shooting some 10 millimeter out here today. Just see how it goes. Uh, 10 millimeter is, one of my favorite rounds. It's the first round I ever loaded for uh, about 20, 21 years ago. And uh, so it's always been kind of special to me. I've, I've shot several hogs and some deer with them and, and uh, they work. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh, I've got some uh, 155 grain uh, XTP Underwoods. Uh, out of the 20, they'll probably run about 1,450 feet per second. Uh, maybe 1500 out of the 29 they'll run right around 1400 feet per second but that's a 155 grain bullet uh you basically get if you don't know anything about 10 millimeter you basically get 357 magnum performance but you have the capability of having 10 rounds with a backup round of 15 in the 29 uh or a backup mag of 15 in the 29 and in the 20 you get 15 rounds with a backup round or a backup mag of 15. so you know it, it beats a, a six shot or eight shot revolver um <clears throat> some of the rounds push a little bit more over 357 mag and then some of the really hot 357 mags are about on par with them uh, a lot of people used to say they're equal the 10 millimeter was equal to 41 mag but it's really not but uh it's it's getting close in some of the rounds but uh anyway uh, i always love the round uh it works that's all there is to it and it's it's honestly one of my my favorite uh rounds to carry you know on creeks and and uh four-wheeling and you know getting in the backwoods and some around town uh anyway i'm gonna get to shooting i'm gonna sight this red dot in then i'll be back with you guys i'm gonna sight it in with this 155 grain because i've got about 30 boxes of uh this beautiful stuff right here it's xtp 155 grain i don't know if that's gonna focus or not but i'll be right back with y'all here's a little five shot group i shot at 20 yards <laughs> almost a smiley face all right now we're going for the 29 this is one of my favorite little glocks i mean it, i absolutely love this one i heard they were coming out with a gen 5 i, I mean i had to pick one up <coughs> they released it at shot show uh like last week i think it was like last tuesday and uh, uh a gun shop here in fort smith actually had one in stock on wednesday so i guess they were already you know in the dealer's hands they just hadn't released them or something but i picked one up wednesday and and i uh, absolutely love it i like the no finger grooves on it i love it love it i love the 29 guys this is the 20 i'm just gonna shoot some a uh, little closer I'm at about uh, probably 20 yards right now and at 20, 22, something like that. Just with this dot, just see how it's hitting on steel with some 135 grain. Underwood. Let's see if we can pop something 50 with the Gen 5 29. Isn't that a little beauty? I freaking love this gun, man. All right, that's 50 yards with a little 29. All right, we're gonna run 10 out of the 29. I absolutely love what they've done to this. I mean, they've got a little bit better trigger than the normal 29 did. Uh, like the Gen 4s, Gen 3s, you know, and, and you got the, the front serrations in the front. 
I like that. I don't, not just because I press check up front. I don't actually do that, but I just like the aesthetics of it. I love how they got rid of the finger grooves. Some really like the finger grooves. I never did. Uh, if they would have done them different, I probably would have really loved it, but they didn't. So I'm, I'm glad they got rid of that. And then they got the so-called marksman barrel in it. I like it. We got 15 rounds. We're gonna load 15 rounds in a little handy dandy Glock 29. It will extend a little bit, but that's what you got right there, guys. You can always carry a 15 round backup mag and then carry your uh, 10 round just inside of it. Pretty dang awesome, man. I love the smell. Good night, guys. About 20 yards right here. Hitting high. Sitting high there for a second. I wasn't letting it come back down. All right, guys, just for craps and giggles, we're gonna scoot back here to 100. I, like I say, I haven't shot in a long time. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit. It's getting a little dark out here. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot. See, so take it off that circle thing. I want a little finer aiming point. There we go. Let's see, that's a long way, man. <sighs> Good night, it covers the whole target. That's why I'm not fond of dots. There we go. One. Yeah, I got one more shot. All right, we're gonna stand back here. 50 yards with five rounds in the 29. Let's see what we can do here. It's the last round. Doesn't that suck? And right, now we'll give the old 20 a shot. Some more uh, 155 Underwoods. See what happens. 50 yards. I heard something behind me coming up or five out of five of the 20 dot helps a little bit at distance uh, i do have to admit all right guys it is starting to get a little dark i'm gonna head on home cook me some chicken sandwiches hope you enjoyed the video absolutely love the glock 20 gen 5 and the glock 29 gen 5 they are excellent excellent pistols if you like 10 millimeter i suggest you pick one up they're just they're just all there you know 10 millimeters fun to shoot uh, you get a lot of power in a small compact package in the 29. The 20 is a large gun. Uh, you know, it's going to be bigger than the 17, uh, Glock 17. They're mainly thicker. But uh, anyway, excellent, excellent guns. <coughs> I will see you guys next time. Probably be doing some fishing, hopefully, before too much longer, if we can get rid of the snow and rain and all that crap. But uh, it's been, it was like... 10 12 degrees for like four or five days and now today it was 66 degrees so anyway hope you enjoyed the video see you guys next time